Hi and welcome to another Type with me. In this video I'm going to talk about how to request data with Dino. I saw some questions within the community but also on my channel how to do that. So I thought well let's create a video about it. So on the web we have the fetch API. Well Dino uses a lot of uh, web APIs right out of the box. So in that case, we can use the fetch API um, of the web, right? So it seems very familiar like XML HTTP request, but the new API provides more powerful and flexible feature sets. So it's, it's, really, it's really great. It's something like Axios, but natively within the browser and also natively within Dino. So let's dive into it and let's do an HTTP call to a movie database. So what I'm going to do is create a method function to call and that function gets a URL of type string, right? And he does an HTTP call. And basically, what we can do is just do a console.log of the data. So, in this video, I'm going to use the OMDB API which is a very simple API for getting movies back. You just need to request your API key and then you can start using it, right? So that's great, let's start. So now we're going to do an HTTP call and I'm going to do dino dash dash allow net index.ts so we need to give permissions to our application that we do an HTTP call remember that node.js doesn't do that but but dino it's security first so we need to set our permissions right whenever we execute something in dino Of course, we need to save <laughs> our index.cs, <laughs> right? And then, of course, we get something back. So I'm going to see if I can do something else. Of course, when you want to see what's in our data, we can do json.stringify data. Execute it again. And we get more readable data back so that we can start using this data again. For example, when we want to do something like this data.title console.log data. Dot Plot, for example, and if I do something like this, data title, I will get probably the right things back. Great. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's very easy to do HTTP calls within Dino. Keep or remember that it's a, a network thing, so you always need to provide allow dash net for that. But if we don't do that, for example, and we just do dino.index.ts, we get something like uncast permission denied, run again with, and then allow dash net flag. So, so um, we, we, we um, that's a very good usability of Dino, in my opinion. I, I really like it that they use um, the web APIs and that you can start using the web APIs within your Dino application itself. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's indeed a very easy uh, tutorial that I created, but I think uh, people will, uh, will have 
the right information to do HTTP calls now within Dino. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.